Hi there, this is Alex at Gnome, and this video will show you the Pulse experiment on the Memristor Discovery Platform. Uh, the purpose of this experiment is very simple, is to drive pulses across Memristors and see how they react. Uh, on the left control bar here, you can select the, the type of pulse, uh, square, triangle, half sign, quarter sign, uh, etc. Um, in the preferences, we can set uh, the various, um, you know, amplitude, pulse width, sample rate, number of pulses, series resistor. Uh, you can set all that so you don't have to constantly reset it every time you open up the, the program. Uh, we can set the pulse width here, the pulse number. Um, let's set this to, say, square smooth. Uh, series resistor, make sure that matches what you have in the board. And uh, sample rate, I'll, I'll show you what that's all about in just a second. So you can select what device or devices you'd like to couple to the uh, driver circuitry. So we're going to set the, uh, select the first device. Uh, let's, let's just apply one pulse, let's say a 50 microsecond pulse with one volt. Now that one volt is being applied across both the, the memristor and the series resistor. Uh, to see this, check out the help menu. It'll show you uh, what's going on uh, with the circuit setup and how to how to configure the jumpers. This can be the same as the hysteresis app. Uh, so this, this experiment is applying a, uh, a voltage pulse across both the um, selected memristor or memristors uh, and the series resistor and it's measuring the voltage um, of the applied pulse V1 and at the junction here V2. Um, so with that said, we've set all of our parameters and you just hit start. Uh, what you see here is the, is the captured waveforms. So the blue waveform here is the applied pulse. The yellow is the voltage at the junction. And the purple is the difference between V1 and V2, which is the voltage drop across the memristor. Uh, at the bottom here, we have uh, uh, read pulses that are being applied every second. Uh, which is set here, the sample rate, so I could set that to say 10 and it would, it would apply a read pulse every 10 seconds. Uh, low amplitude, 0.1 volt uh, read pulse used to determine the um, resistance of the memristor uh, by the voltage drop across that series resistor. So make sure that you have it, this entered correctly, otherwise your, um, your measured resistance is going to be incorrect. Uh, and it'll just keep on applying this until we hit the stop button here. Um, and then we can hit start again, and we can give it a pulse, and then keep on applying it. Um, so in this, this case, we hit, say, 14 kilo ohms. We, we uh, applied a pulse, nothing happened. Uh, we can re reverse the magnitude of the applied pulse. So we're going to put this at, say, minus 1, and do this again. And notice here in the uh, bottom plot, we have reduced the... Um, the conductance uh, or in increase the resistance to uh, 24 kilo ohms. Uh, we, can, we can do this again. Um, notice we're driving it down and every time you hit that start button it applies the pulse and then uh, applies those, those read pulses and lets you monitor it over time. Uh, we can reduce or um, flip the, the polarity again and uh, drive the conductance back up. Uh, one thing to keep in mind with uh, this Pulse app has to do with the, the RC effects of the board uh, when the resistance of the memristor is, is very high. So when that happens, RC effects start to uh, play a part in the voltages that the memristor is seeing. Uh, to show you this, I'm going to apply a um, reset pulse. Let's put that at say minus two volts and we're going to drive the conductance of the device um, uh, down low. Uh, so resistance now is reading about 74, 73 kilo ohms. Okay, so we're going to change the pulse width. Uh, we're going to reduce that a lot. Let's say let's put it to say three microseconds and we're going to do a forward applied uh, voltage of one volt and let's see what happens here. Okay, so we can really clearly see the effects of um, the capacitance of the board coupled with the now 
um, high resistance of the memristor. So here's the, the blue is the, the pulse that's applied to the, both the memristor and the resistor in series. Uh, the yellow here is the voltage on the junction of uh, the memristor and the resistor. And notice you have this nice RC uh, charge going on. So you got some charge accumulating at the junction. And then as the, the pulse drops, you have this drop off of the voltage. Um, but notice the, um, the voltage drop across the memristor, which is the difference between these two. Um, it's positive here, which means that the conductance of the device would be increasing. But as we, on the negative, you know, falling edge of the <coughs> um, of the pulse, um, because the charge takes a while to leak off, there's a, a voltage uh, polarity uh, inversion, and so the the conductance of the device is now going to increase, and it's going to undo what it did before. Um, so when you get into a regime where your device conductance is is very low, um, or resistance is very high and you're applying small pulse widths uh, and you're getting strange behavior, uh, it might not be really the fault of the memristor. Uh, you just might need to, to set the conductance. You might need to give it sort of a, a positive going pulse, long uh, pulse width in order to drive that conductance uh, into say the 10 kilo ohm or less range. When you're operating there, uh, things will work a little better for you. Uh, so let's um, let's set the pulse width, uh, say back to 50 microseconds, positive going pulse, and uh, see if we can drive the, the conductance back up. Okay, so we see a, a little increment there, and uh, keep on keep on driving it up. As a shortcut, you can hit the S uh, key on your keyboard, and that will toggle the start and stop buttons. So I'm just going to be hitting the, the key here. And every time we um, apply a pulse, we can see an incrementation uh, in, in the device. Now, if you'd like to, say, increase the number of pulses to, say, 10 here and do that again, notice we get a much bigger jump because we've, we've pulsed it 10 times instead of one. Okay, so everything is, is fairly self-explanatory. Uh, if you have any questions about the setup or the uh, experiment itself, uh, check out the, the help menu. Uh, next up is the Synapse app.